let's try to move on to bandit six. And let's provide the password we found. All right, so that's good. Clear the screen. Take a look at what's present. Not much. What are the instructions? <clears throat> the password for the next level is stored somewhere on the server and has all of the following properties. Owned by Bandit 7. Owned by the group Bandit 6. 33 bytes in size. Okay, so I guess it's good that we are, we did in fact take a look at find and some of its more complicated options in the last challenge because now we're going to have to look on the entire server, not just in the, the user's home directory. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the root of the file system. You can see we have all these files underneath it. And if we were to do just a find dot, we're probably going to get a lot of exceptions because we don't have permission to go into all the directories. Yeah, you can start to see, boy, it's tough to, tough to kill it. One, we're getting a ton of results because, you know, we're, we're looking at every file that's present. You may have noticed way up above, you start to get permission denied exceptions. So we're going to want to avoid that. And there's a really nice way that you can do that by redirecting standard error to dev null, which is, think of it like a black hole, essentially. So this is going to put any errors we get into the garbage. And then we know the size has to be 33 bytes. We learned how to do that last time. Uh, we know it needs to be owned by Bandit 7 and owned by the group Bandit 6. So in, in Linux permissions, you have a, a user and a group. As a quick example, let's do a ls minus lath. If we look at, let's say, the root directory right here, its user is root and its group is also root. Now these don't always have to be the same. For example, you might have like uh, Mike. Maybe Mike is a developer and he's part of the developers group. And so other developers can get at anything that's in the, the group developers. So John might also be a developer. Mary, Sue, what have you. But then, um, yeah, so it, it allows you to do permissions. I should talk a little bit about Linux permissions. What you're seeing over here is uh, a set of 10 different values, but you, you can really group them into four chunks. So one, we've talked about this before, indicating whether it's a directory or a file. So this is a directory. Then we have a group of three, and this is the read, the write. You can see the W here is, is enabled in this uh, other directory and the execute bits and what this says is for the user I can read I cannot write and I can execute then the group we have the ability to find the same things and then finally other or world meaning someone who's not the user which we specify here and not the group what can they do so they can read and execute in this directory. So what we're going to do here is we're going to search for something where the user is bandit 7, uh, the owner is bandit 7, and the group is bandit 6. And we are going to have to take a quick look to find out how to search by user. There we go. So find by owner, so minus user and then the desired user. And I believe, yes, group is the same thing. So let's go ahead. We talked about find command. We're going to do minus size, 33 bytes, minus 
owner bandit seven minus group bandit six. I'm going to explain all this in just a minute to make sure everybody's on board. So we are starting within this directory, which is the root directory. So dot just means the current directory, which we can see here from our prompt is slash or the root. If you're used to Windows PCs, this is like the C drive. We want to find all the files that are 33 bytes, have an owner who is banded 6, Bandit 7, excuse me, as a group that is Bandit 6, and then we want to redirect errors to the garbage can. We're not interested in looking at them because we're going to get a lot of errors. Hey guys, Mike from the future here. So the command failed completely, and what you're about to see is about four to five minutes of me troubleshooting. I thought about cutting this out, but I think it's actually valuable for you to see that, you know, even people who are making videos or, or who have a background in this stuff, they struggle and uh, little things will trip you up. So the process that I'm going to go through, I think would be very useful for a lot of people because I see comments and the comment is something like it doesn't work or it's broken for me and I can't do anything with that. And, and moreover, if you're not able to solve your own problems, you're probably going to be waiting a long time for someone to come along and fix it. So the process I would recommend is you have something that's not working. Remove as many steps as you can and make it as simple as possible until you have something that you understand. Then slowly begin to layer on top all the complexity that you wanted originally. And at each step, verify that things make sense. So I'm going to give you three seconds to, uh, to go back and take a look and see if you can spot my error before I tell you right now. Three, two, one. Okay, here's the spoiler. So I was giving a flag of minus owner when I should have been giving a flag of minus user. And that flag is unknown to the command, to the find command. And I wasn't getting the error because I was piping the errors to DevNull, the trash can that we talked about. So uh, kind of funny, kind of painful, but this is really, this is engineering. And you're, you're going to have to go through this. Everything's always breaking or broken, and you have to have a process. So sit back, enjoy. Here comes four to five minutes of me suffering through this. Bye. Uh, and interestingly, we didn't find anything. So let's let's make a little change here. Hmm. So what did I mess up? 33 bytes, owned by Bandit7. Uh, I am going to remove a little bit here. And see what we got. This is very, very interesting. Whenever you have a bunch of filters and everything's failing, then uh, it can make a lot of sense to take a step back and remove some filters and see what you're given. That bottom one looked interesting. I want to. We can. We can make this a little easier to read by piping this to less. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to do step by step through this result. And I'm actually, I'm going to do minus ls as well. We'll figure out what's wrong with our query in a minute. But I'm just looking. Yeah, so interesting. The size is not being enforced. Mm, not sure. Not sure why that's not working. Let's see. This is all dev stuff. So 
not very interesting for us. Wow, this is so much stuff. I did a, a shift F just to run through to the bottom because at the bottom was something I thought was really interesting. Wow, this is so much stuff. Yeah, find find is not enforcing the size. I'm gonna control C. So maybe, maybe if you do the minus LS first, it doesn't apply the size filter. Really not sure here. I know this is a little sloppy, but wow, I, I think that's true. I think that's true as I look through it. Okay, this is how you learn. Um, so this, this does seem to be correct, right? This is user bandit seven, group bandit six. This seems to be the correct location. Why didn't our find find this? We're gonna dig into that now. Um, oops. Like I said, I, I know this is messy, guys, and obviously I'm doing some of this live. I've done this all before, but uh, this is a, a week or so ago. I think there's value in you seeing, you know, when things break, how do I go through and how do I figure out what's going on? So we know that it shows up without the owner. What happens if we give it the owner? We get nothing. Huh. Let's remove the LS. remove the size filter and try just the owner filter. Am I misspelling bandit seven? No, I don't think so. Unknown predicate. Oh my gosh, interesting, interesting. Oh, okay, so that that is dangerous. Remember when I said, guys, that I was throwing everything in the garbage in terms of errors? It didn't recognize what this uh, flag was. And as a result, it was just throwing it away. Okay, so this is actually supposed to be user now. Now it still shows up, all right. And if we do a group of bandit six, perfect, still there. And then minus size, 33C, perfect. All right, so um, there's the, the troubleshooting process. It's ugly, but on we go.